Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and I'm having a really bad hair week. I don't know what's going on. Besides that, today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. Before we jump into this week's products, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series, and if you're not and you would like to, I hope you would consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. Oh, and then special announcement tomorrow. I actually am really excited. I have a collab video coming out. So I know usually I post videos 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but for blah. but for tomorrow's collab, it's going to be posted at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just so if you're wondering where a video is, it's not going to be up at 7. It'll just be up at 10 instead. So first, some updates. I did just get the new Hourglass palette. Uh, it's gorgeous. This is the ambient lighting editing, editing, the ambient light edit unlocked palette and it's gorgeous. I've used it for a couple of days so far, but I am going to thoroughly test it out before I do my video on it. So this will be coming out in a couple of weeks or so. I also just placed an order. I don't think I mentioned this before, but since I've already ordered it, I thought I would just do it as an update. I bought the two new shades of the Fenty Lip Stunna Lip Paint, the red lip stunner from Fenty is like my holy grail red lipstick. It's bulletproof. It's what I wore when I worked at Sephora, when I had my interview for Sephora. I love that lipstick. So I did jump on those two new shades. I'm actually really glad I didn't buy like the brown one right when it came out because they kind of like out of the blue, like dropped that other shade and it's a mauve. That's like gonna be my go-to follow-up. It looks like Rebel Rose from Wet n Wild. So I cannot wait to see <laughs> what those look like when they come in. I did the two day shipping, so they'll be in by the end of the week. I really want to do a full video on the three colors, like do lip swatches, do arm swatches, and then just share my experience with the red one and see how I like the other one. So if you guys do want to see that, let me know down below because I could definitely throw that together. I'm so excited for these lipsticks. ABH is coming out with another, I think this is a mini liquid lipstick set. These are for the holidays and they're like metallic liquid lipsticks. They look adorable, but I know I would never wear these. Like even during the holiday season, like I think the only one I would probably wear is that red, but I have sparkly reds that I don't touch. So I really don't need to pick this one up. And I hope you guys can't hear that, but it's like storming outside right now, like to the point where I'm not gonna walk to the train station, I'm taking an Uber, cause it's like pouring. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. MAC is coming out with a new highlighter palette. This is the Hyper Real Glow palette in Shimmy Peach. I don't know, I never really get excited for MAC face palettes. I mean, I'm sure they're great for working artists. Of course, that's what the brand really caters towards. But I've never seen a highlight palette and be like, I want it. Come here. So this is a little strange. <laughs> um, Starlet, Starlet. Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a large eyeshadow palette. Like, f I don't have that much experience with the brand, but from what I've seen, they tend to do more quads, more smaller palettes, but this is a large naked-esque type palette. And I say naked-esque because this looks a lot like the Naked Cherry and the Naked Heat. Like the left side of the palette looks like Naked Heat and the right side of the palette looks like Naked Cherry. <sighs> mm. They don't even have a price on here and I'm sure it's gonna be expensive and no. No. I'm still trying to figure out what Charlotte Tilbury products to try out. I really wanted them to have some like minis or something because I was looking at the bundles. I'm not spending $230 on a bundle of Charlotte Tilbury products. <laughs> so odds are I'll pick up a foundation and maybe a face powder, maybe a blush, but I'm still like, I, I kind of really want to go. There's a, this one mall nearby. That's a fancy mall. Fancy. Fancy like they have the whole mall is nothing but like Fendi, Prada, you know, they sell, it's expensive. They have a, like, 
stores like that galore and they have a Sephora there and in that Sephora it's almost entirely luxury products but it's nice because you can actually see the luxury products out you can try them out you can you know swatch them see how they look so whenever I bought anything like higher luxury end I got it from there like I bought majority of my Natasha Denona palettes that I bought in store I bought there anything I think I bought um all my YSL lip stains I'm actually wearing one today I bought those there I don't know if Charlotte's gonna be available in stores but I'm assuming that if it is it'll be there so I really want to go there see if they have it because I feel like when it comes to these kind of base complexion products, you gotta go into the store and see it. But either way, it's a no for that palette. So this is kind of like a sneak peek little thing. I don't know any more information about it, but it looks like Fenty is coming out with face powders and blushes. And it looks like there's like a peachy blush right there. I would get that. I would try a face powder. I would try a blush. I see that there are some other highlighters there too, but I want a nice blush from Fenty. I think that would be gorgeous. Why do I feel like Becca is just dropping A, way too many products, and B, products nobody really wants? This is another limited edition highlighter. This is in Spanish Rose Glow. Okay, it's got an imprint of a dancer on it, and it's pink. So they'll drop a whole bunch of like limited edition stuff on here and maybe make it limited edition, I don't know. But they're doing round three with Chrissy Teigen. Like, that's getting boring as hell. Like, before you know it, we're gonna see round four. And by that point, I'll just check out. Becca's got some amazing highlighters, but I'm getting real tired of just the random BS that they're releasing constantly. Like, I'm not into it. Okay, so this Zodiac collection thing, it's, it's already meh. Like, I know there are some people that really believe in it, but it's just, okay, I'll, I'll leave it there. I don't deeply believe in the Zodiac at all, and I think companies are jumping on the bandwagon just for marketing, which of course is what they're doing. There are certain products that I think do this well, and there are certain products that I think do this badly. A product that I think does this well is the Bite Beauty releases now they're not doing a full collection at once they're releasing a lipstick for every month which i think that's actually kind of cute you if you want your shade you gotta wait for your birthday month and then that can be your birthday thing and it's you know that's actually kind of a cute idea the rest of these collections like ColourPop, like wet and wild they're just going zodiac and just throwing stuff at you and none of it seems to be that great something that i think is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> ridiculous is basically this is a chapstick this is an overpriced chapstick but it's zodiac come on i have one of the regular lip treatments this is the sugar fresh whatever lip treatment i guess they're changing the different scents for each one i don't even know but i know that it's just an overpriced lipstick uh, lipstick it's just an overpriced chapstick of all the things to make zodiac can we just please like get over the zodiac and move on to something else like first it was like unicorns then it was like mermaids and now it's zodiac i just can we just not have like an annoying trend so this one was a bit interesting and a bit confusing because no one had really ever seen her talk about this or mention it before it came out uh, and this is the maybelline and nikki tutorials collaboration on the master chrome highlighter people have pointed out that her name picture nothing is not on the actual product it's only on the like the packaging so people are thinking was this thrown together last minute like what's going on here people are also confused because she just came out with a highlighter with ofra like just they're also charging you more money for this highlighter when it has less product than the rest of their highlighters so it's going to be a pass for me, but overall, I'm just confused by how it even happened. Talk about a bit of a letdown. I saw Too Faced drop something called the Pumpkin Spice Palette, and my heart stopped. And I was so excited, and I was like, no way, this is going to be great. They're going to, it's going to be oranges, and it's going to be bright, and it's going to have, oh, it's going to be great. Then I saw the inside of the palette.
think this might actually be like the biggest letdown because <laughs> I love pumpkin spice if, if you know me I like being basic I love my pumpkin spice don't ruin my fun because you don't want to let other people have fun just I love it I would have been all over an actual pumpkin spice palette this reminds me of that makeup geek palette that just came out that's not really pumpkin spice either can someone please come out with an actual pumpkin spice palette if not I'll have to make it myself <laughs> And I don't have that many, like, I don't think I have the singles in my collection to do it. Otherwise, I would. So the Melt Gemini is back in stock. I don't know, guys. First, I was really excited for this. Couldn't wait to jump on it. Then it sold out. And then they said it wasn't coming back. And then I looked at it and realized, you know what? I didn't really need it. Because it's only half the palette that's really, like, green. And then, like, everyone loved it. And of course, that's why they brought it back. It did really well. And it's expensive. It's, like, $56? $58, Jesus. Okay, so this is an expensive palette. Don't know if I want it. I don't know at this point. I don't know if they're gonna make it permanent. I feel like at this point I'd have to wait, step back for a few more weeks, and if I still want it, maybe. Natasha Denona just dropped a new five pan palette and it's called Cranberry Palette. And it has four new shades and then I guess one existing shade. I think this is actually a good mini palette. It looks a hell of a lot like that new Naked Cherry palette, but I guess those are the shades that we're gonna see throughout this holiday season. I think this is how she should do her mini palettes, because if you looked at the other ones that she came out with, like the Star palette that was really boring, like that Camel palette that was really boring, this is how you do a mini palette to get people interested. You've got a nice variety of shades here. You've got what looks like, I can't tell if that's a matte or not. It looks like a matte, a shimmer, and then three glittery kind of ones, but they're nice shades and they all look really well together. So I think that that's actually like a good holiday release from Natasha. Will I be getting it? No. I think I've got enough Natasha Denona palettes to last me quite a while, unless I'm like super, super enticed by like, like if she made like a special palette and was like, oh, I wanna do like, you know, no, not even like, cause I already have my dream palette, which is the green brown palette. I don't need any more. I really don't. Jeffree Star is coming out with some lip liners. Honestly, I have a drawer full of lip liners that I don't touch. I don't use lip liners. I don't like lip liners. I need to either use mine or declutter them because at this point it's getting a little, little crazy. So Persona Cosmetics is coming out with like these little color kits. And I first looked at it and I see that you get like a little palette, an eyeliner, and a brush. And I think that's really cute. The packaging is really cute. Like it's a little bit different, but they're charging $38 for this. $38 for um, a plastic baggie with a tiny kind of boring-ish matte palette, a brush and an eyeliner. I could make you one of these if you wanted and then ship it to you for 20 bucks. Like you don't need this. So I see there's like a pink one and then there's like an orangey one and that orange palette looks just like that really bad palette from Urban Decay that came out a while ago. Do you remember? It was like the light stream, the light whatever. It looks just like that. Oh my god, it's like thundering outside. Please don't. I still have to go to work in a little bit. Something I was like surprised to see because I don't think anyone actually really knew this was coming out because it hadn't actually been announced so I don't know how people found out about this. I'm thinking maybe the store put it out a little bit early. This is a collaboration between Essence and Casey Holmes. I used to love Casey's channel. She was one of the first like beauty people I started watching on YouTube a couple years ago. I unsubscribed a bit ago because I got a her content kind of got a bit repetitive. But this collaboration, like, I think it's great that she collaborates more with, like, affordable brands than with, like, I know that there are other people that would jump at the chance to collaborate with, like, these higher-end brands, but from what I've seen from her, she's done collaborations with a lot of affordable brands, which I think is great. And Essence is an awesome brand. So I see that there are, like, some face palettes here. It's called, like, Peachy Bean or something. Um... What I'm particularly interested in is there's a palette that has like a almost orange peachy blush. I want that. Uh, it's got like a bronzer and some highlighters. I want that blush. So I don't know if this is available online. I tried looking it up. I couldn't see it. I didn't see it at the Ulta site. 
These pictures are from someone who found this display at Ulta. So I'm really thinking like this store might have messed up and put this out early because it hasn't even been announced yet. Ooh, quick side note, Juvia's Place is now actually in store at some select Ulta's around the country. And one of the Ulta's is actually not too far from me. So I really want to go and see the rest of these palettes in person. I currently only own two Juvia's Place palettes, but I want to get some more because they're great quality. So I definitely want to go see this display. Like it looks beautiful. Like I can't wait to see it. Ah, a holiday kit that I think is actually A, really useful and B, fairly affordable, eh, I say fairly, comes from Beauty Bakery. And they're actually doing a set about their flour baking powder. And so it's called like the uh, flour baking set. It comes with a brush. It comes with the actual flour baking powder. And then it comes with like a little sponge. And I think that's a great idea. I absolutely adore the baking powder. I have it like in the yellow shade and I love it. Like I had to put it back in my drawer so I wouldn't completely use it up <laughs> but I love this and I would consider getting that because that brush is in the same like shape as the brush that I love to use to wipe away my bake and I'm always on the lookout for a good sponge so this is something that's going to be on my radar because I love that powder so much. So we're gonna leave it at that for this week. I feel like there were a lot of products but I feel like between now and the end of the year we're only going to see more just because of the holiday season so these might get a little bit longer throughout the rest of the year but let me know what you thought of all these products down below and i'll see you in my next video tomorrow at 10 a.m bye